Hey there, honey. Just about ready to pack up and head out. Before I do the jump cut and land in the cabin, got to take a look around this hotel room and make sure that everything's been packed up and nothing's been left behind. Now, this is something that you used to do, but since it's all on me now, I've got to do it myself. I've got you here, which sometimes I have trouble with, but this time around, I've gotten that under control. Let's take a look around. My two regular suitcases are all done up, complete with the little tags that indicate what deck I'm on and the fact that I'm a Diamond member. So we should be good to go there. Got to check under the bed. Or not, I guess there is no under the bed. Good, at least I can't lose anything there. How about the bathroom? I think I brought everything in from there and I'm leaving the open soap. You might've wrapped it up and taking it with us. Bathtubs here. And this is why Daniel couldn't come along because this would be the last bath he would have in three months. Ah, oh, well, at least he would have liked the hotel room, I guess. All right, let's go through here. I'm not even opening this door because I haven't opened it yet. Everything else, the only things that are lying out are the things I plan on wearing, like the jacket and wallet and the stuff that belongs to the hotel, like their keys. So I think we are all set. Time to get going, and uh, not a moment too soon, as it's well after 10, and I need to check out at 11. Anyway, so long, Ocean View Room. You look really nice, and I guess I've got some of my money's worth out of you. Be good to the next guest, will you? Take care. And hello to the Serenade of the Seas. Haven't been on this ship before, so I've got to take you on a tour of this over the next few days or maybe over the next couple of weeks but first gotta find myself the room and wouldn't you know it it's right past the elevator banks this is where i'm gonna call home for the next three months let's look inside shall we let me get out my pass don't leave home without it Oh, really? All right, let's take a look inside. And here we are. This is the stateroom. It's about the size of, well, a college dorm, which considering I'm here for what amounts to a semester, not terribly far wrong. As you can see, I've unpacked what I have in my backpack. It's not much but it's honest work. It's certainly got a better window. One could ask about the view, I suppose, but it's not right up against the port, so it's not so bad. You get to see most of Los Angeles here. And look hard enough. Yeah, get a load of this. Let me see if I can get this open. Probably film quite a few shots from here. I wonder if that is the inspiration for Mount Chiliad. <laughs> if you know, you know, right, Rachel? Anyway, we are on the port side. I have to take that back, what I said earlier. So you can see the workers getting stuff in here. And there's also the Norwegian Bliss anchor here as well. They'll be taking off shortly too. One rule they tell you is to not have the balcony open when you've got your cabin door open because of the cross breeze, especially when you're we're actually moving at 25 miles an hour. Uh, sorry, 25 knots. You and I used to joke about cruise ship speed when we'd go in certain areas where the posted speed limit was 25 miles an hour. And if you ran over it, there was always the risk you'd run a ticket. Not that we'd ever been pulled over, not even in front of church, which mm, would look really bad. <laughs> Imagine, you're on your way to church and you get pulled over for speeding. Not a good look. So we always referred to going at cruise ship speed, even though they don't even call it that. Then again, it's not quite the same thing. It's nautical miles as opposed to actual miles that we know of on land. I think it's 1.1 miles as opposed to one. Hmm, 
didn't close it very well. That's the problem with holding this thing while you're talking and looking the other direction. Hmm. There we go. Anyway, let's look around, shall we? There are nightstands on either side of the bed and under the circumstances, I've used both of them, or at least I've got stuff on top. Since I haven't gotten my suitcases yet, I really haven't unpacked in here. I have, however, put up my uh, computer, and that was a story in and of itself. It turns out I keep thinking that I'm in stateroom 930. It turns out it's 9030, and I needed to put in all four digits. Now that that's taken care of, though, it turns out that I have availability for two devices at a time. So between my phone and my computer, I'll probably be hooked up to the internet the entire trip. Like with any good dorm, got to have a fridge. And the TV, though I haven't hooked it up yet, does have HDMI cables. So I'm going to have two screens, which will really be useful when I'm working with spreadsheets and the internet at the same time. That'll make things so much easier than just using my laptop. Not the usual stuff here. Ah, yes, the safe. Gonna have to put you in here from time to time. For the time being, I'll probably put my documents there right now. This is just a receipt, but they keep your passport. So when we go into the ports of call, you can just check everybody's en masse. And for the time being, I'll leave it like this. Hopefully no one's going to come in there and get it. Plenty of closet space. And hopefully I'll be able to unpack a little bit more. And a lot of room down here, although it looks like we've got a few things already here. Don't know what that all is. I'll probably find out from my cabin steward eventually. Finally, and unlike a college dorm have our own bathroom however small and cramped tiny little shower stall again daniel would go the entire time without bathing i think so this is not the trip for him besides he's got to be able to take care of the house and i wish him luck in doing so hmm Right, so I'm not going to show you how that works until I actually need to. However, one thing they specify is that the lid should be closed beforehand, so I won't have to display anything when I do this. Those of you reading over Rachel's shoulder right now, you'll get to understand why they refer to the barking toilets, but that's for another time. Anyway, that's it. That is the extent of the stateroom tour. There's not much to this place because you're supposed to be expected to be everywhere in this ship, not just here all the time. That's half the part of the voyage, I think. However, given that I've got some of this social media stuff that I want to try and do, both writing to you and making these videos, not to mention the actual everyday work that I can't quite leave behind well, with tax season happening while I'm gone, I'm going to be in here more than I am on most of these trips. So it's nice to have a place that I can call home that feels like home. It's smaller than home. <laughs> it's smaller than my bedroom, a third of its size. But it has everything I need, or at least it will, once everything shows up. Maybe I'll show you around once I've unpacked everything. Hey there, honey. It's me from the future. Well, I guess it's the past now by the time you're watching this. Oh, and hello to everybody uh, looking over your shoulder. Just wanting to show you around now that everything's arrived. So let's start off with the closet. Actually, it'll probably be easier if I have the place lit up, even though the sunlight is pretty bright as it is. Once I get the thing open, it's a little bit more problematic. But I think I've managed to get everything in here. It's a little tight to see. But you can clearly see everything down here. And I managed to unpack everything into here and only a few things are actually on hangers so as you can see the television is hooked up and good to go uh, and everything works real nice 
already. You've probably seen a couple of videos that I've put together. Yeah, they're not exactly professional grade, I don't argue that point, but at least there's something. And maybe with a little practice, by the time I reach India or something like that, these are actually going to look good. You've probably already guessed by now that a day has passed, it's morning, and we're out in the middle of the Pacific. And like I was saying to you, this is probably something I'm going to talk about in a separate video and letter to you because I know you always wanted to do one of these transoceanic trips, and as soon as I discover whether I can tolerate this for several days at a time, I'll let you know about it. Anyway, the books have been unpacked, and there are already cruise compasses that I need to put away in that little binder, but at least it's a start. Gary also suggested that I get some magnets, because the entire room is made out of metal, and that I can hang certain things up in the room as both decorations, and for use for various luggage that I might want at hand at some point. So that's what I've done here and over here. You know, I've never found a way or a place to hang them up in the house, so it's nice to give them something of a permanent home. Permanent being relative, of course. The thing is that describing this sort of thing to you seems kind of pointless. You've been on as many trips as I have. Even the fact that I've taken a couple of cruises since you left, you already had a couple on me, so we're probably only even now. This is about the time where I'm actually going to be getting ahead of you. But in any event, nothing about this is going to be particularly surprising to you. But for the benefit of those reading and watching this over your shoulder, I wouldn't mind asking for those of you to if you have any questions about this trip in particular, or any trip with regard to cruising, feel free to drop me a line. There's the comment section in YouTube or in my letters. So I'll try and answer some questions if you have them, because I've caught a lot of days at sea and at various locations, and some things are just natural to you and me, honey, but they're not necessarily so to everybody who sees this. So feel free to ask me something and I'll try and answer you as they come in. Anyway, thanks so much for listening to me. I'll talk to you later. Till then, take care, keep an eye on me, and wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. Bye.